let's now take a look at another conditional, the first conditional. Let's have a look at a typical situation that the first conditional would be used for. Winning the lottery, the result of which might be to take somebody on a cruise. So a sentence for this would be, if I win the lottery, I will take you on a cruise. What other words could we use instead of will? I might take you on a cruise. I could take you on a cruise. I may take you on a cruise. So let's first have a look at the structure of this. As with the zero conditional, we have the if plus a present simple clause. And in the second clause, we have will or another suitable modal auxiliary verb followed by the base form of the verb. Why do we refer to this as the base form rather than present simple? Consider changing the pronoun I will take you on a cruise to she or he. She will take you on a cruise. Notice with the present simple, taking away the will, it would be she takes you on a cruise. But in fact, we don't conjugate the verb as we would do in a normal present simple sentence. Let's have a look at the usage for the first conditional. In this situation, we're looking at a likely result of a possible future situation. Note that the word when would be inappropriate in this sentence because it would be an inappropriate level of confidence for winning the lottery. When really is only used for the zero conditional. We're also looking at a promise. It's a promise to take somebody on the cruise if you win the lottery. It could also be used for threats or warnings. If you don't leave me alone, I will call the police. And backup plans is another typical use. If it rains tomorrow, I'll go to the cinema.